just research is about uh, the identification of a new mechanism that regulate the uh, death of cancer cells under chemotherapy. The cancer cell death that relies uh, on uh, one of the major protein, uh, uh, a so-called master regulator of cell death. Uh, uh, the name of it is P53. This is a protein that has been uh, frequently deleted in different types of cancers. So uh, cancer cells, if you don't have enough or uh, a suitable level of P53, is resistant to chemotherapy. Um, so we found out that the, the level of P53, the stability of P53 is regulated by another protein called NUM, uh, N-U-M-B. So NUM can uh, interact with P53 and protects it from uh, being degraded. Uh, so if you don't have NUM in a cell, and then P53 gets degraded very quickly, and these cells become resistant uh, to chemotherapy. So we would like to uh, maintain a good level of P53 in these cells. So the good thing is so the, the funding really uh, is about how we can protect P53 from being degraded in a cell. So it, the, the key funding is really uh, we identify the NUM is the regulator for P53, and that regulation is dependent on the methylation of NUM. So cancer cells, uh, they turn to methylate NUM. Uh, so when NUM is methylated, uh, then it will not bind to P53 and protect P53 uh, from being degraded anymore. So uh, if we can actually prevent uh, numb from being methylated in a cell, in the cancer cells, then we would have uh, a means to uh, sensitize cancer cells to chemotherapy. Uh, so the, uh, the next step that we would like to take is really to identify the enzyme uh, and also, uh, I think we have already identified an enzyme that, that actually promote the methylation of NUM. Now, we, if we can actually identify an inhibitor to the enzyme, which is called SET8, then we would be able to shut down NUM methylation, which in turn will promote the interaction between NUM and P53 and protecting uh, P53 from being degraded. And these cancer cells would be uh, uh, sensitized to chemotherapy agents.